Lindsay says, I want a customer to take over the control of my screen. However, it is not working. Other clients of mine managed to do it. Does anyone have an idea where this could be due, what this could be due to? Where this could be due to? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, so many questions about this. Uh, <laughs> number one is why. Uh, number two is, you know, what, what are you using? Are you just using native Windows? Uh, or are you using an app like, log me in or remote PC or connect to my PC or whatever application allows you to do screen mirroring. I mean, there's just, you know, I don't know that. So I'll give you the gist of being able to do a remote assist, okay, um, out of for Windows, which I think they changed the name now in, in Windows 11. Did they change the name of it? I think it's still called Quick Assist. Oh, quick assist. Uh, it was remote assist originally in, in Windows 10, but maybe it is quick assist now. But either way, that is a built-in function. Now, the client has to allow that. Okay, there is a setting on the client that, you know, they have to go into under the system in control panel system. They have to allow for those requests to be accepted on their computers. So if they don't, you know, then... Obviously, you're not going to be able to connect, um, and you're just you're just talking about taking control of the screen. Is that just viewing the screen, or do you actually want to take control of the machine, like move the mouse and enter, you know, keyboard, and do all that? Because those are two very different things. Hmm. Um, you know, screen just watching a screen, you can basically use um, what's that uh, app called that all the scammers use? Uh, Team. Uh, Team viewer, yeah. So you could just use Team Viewer, and you can see screen only, right? Or you can change it to, you know, have full control of the machine. Um, it all depends on what the purpose is here. Um, I think you can actually. Can you view and take control of other people's screens in uh, Teams? I think you can. Yes. Yep. You can request, and you can uh, defer, but it depends. It depends. <laughs> on their external access settings. So if they're in there yeah. as a guest, there's certain things that are not available. That was what I was going to add to the mix. And yeah. Teams is a little bit different. And internally, it's usually not an issue, but it, it's how you join, the role you play in that meeting, and you know the settings on either side. Because sometimes, like the government, they don't allow that. Right, right, certain right. financial, they don't allow that. Healthcare, they don't allow that. So the, it could be the tenant that they're in but they're saying, oh, it was working before, but now it's not working, or it works for some clients and not others. It's like, well, why is that? Can you yeah. enable that for internal to make it, allow it for internal users, for team members, but but uh, disallow it for if an external person? That I don't know. I, hmm. That would be an That's admin probably, setting. Yeah, that'd probably be a policy. You could yeah. Do. Or, but, or, or, in, or it's just an all on, all off. Yeah. See. And the thing is, I've never used it on the team side. I've used it on the Zoom side. You can do it in Zoom, right? Um, you can do it now inside of Slack. You can actually take control or view screens now in Slack um, by going into a huddle, as they call it. I think you can even do it in Chrome. I think by default, Chrome, if you go into a, what do they call it? Meet, a Meet Google Me, Meet, or yeah. Meet, Google Meet or whatever, you can actually, you know, see the screen there i don't think you can take control but i think you can actually view their screen yeah um so i mean there's a thousand different ways that's why i have so many questions is you know what way are you trying to do this number one but number two why are you trying to do this um maybe that person isn't accepting your invitation because they don't want you to <laughs> well and here's the other question should you be doing this? Yeah, yeah. I mean, really. <laughs> Christian, Christian does it to, to me all the time. I'm always in his computer, and I'm trying to get into it, and he just keeps on turning me down. But you know, well, that's as long, <laughs> long as long as you get the work done, and I can then bill for it. You know, yeah. It's, I'm used to the rejection. I'm just I'm so used to the rejection. <laughs> it's the new version of move. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you.